Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the buttstock cleaning kit that you can get for an AK-47. And I'm sure, there, I'm sure there's other versions of the AK uh, descendants of it that have this as well. And that is the buttstock cleaning kit. Now if you're not familiar with them, a lot of AKs came with a little trap door here in the bottom that is spring-loaded. And inside is this little cleaning kit. And I've heard it called the butt stock cleaning kit, the trap door cleaning kit. Some people call it a lipstick cleaning kit. Some people call it a tampon cleaning kit because it does kind of look like a tampon. And inside of it is a jag, a screwdriver, a brush, and a drive pin. And this, the case itself is actually a tool as well, but I'm not going to be getting into how to use these tools. What I'm going to teach you how is to repack all these things back into this little case. Because a lot of people get these and they pull everything out and the next thing you know, they, you know, they can't figure out how everything fits back in together. So I'm going to bring the camera in here close. I'm going to show you how to put the drive pin, the screwdriver, the jag, and the brush back into this kit quickly and easily and how to properly do that. Now one of the biggest problems is people buy one of these and they take it apart and then they don't pay attention to how it was put together and then they wonder why doesn't everything fit down in there. They just, it won't go. It'll, it will go because obviously it came out of there. So we need to pay attention to a couple of the things here. First off, on the body of the case itself, the, the cleaning kit itself. There's two hole, round holes in here. There's a large round hole that is flush with the rest of the case. And there is a small hole that is kind of depressed down in there. Now that is actually for the cleaning rod to go through. But we won't be talking about that. We're talking about just how to pack these four items back into here. What we want is this small hole that's depressed down into the body of the case to be face down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the screwdriver. Now you notice the screwdriver has one side that is thinner for the bulk of it, but then it gets a little thicker here at the end. The other side is totally flat. You'll notice that I can rock this back and forth here, whereas I can't here. We want this flat side up. Now the easy way to remember this is consider this smooth and this smooth. That's the way you want them. Flat side up, smooth side up, smooth side up. So we're going to simply slide this in. And this is the reason you put this in this or you put the case in this orientation is so you can have gravity hold this in place. If you try to do it any other way, you're, you're fighting gravity on this. So just make sure that the small hole is down and slide your screwdriver in. And you're done with that. Now the jag and the brush, I make sure that I put them in with the threaded end towards the opening. This way, if for some reason things get in there jammed so tight that I can't get in there with a pair of needle nose and pull something out, I can at least take my cleaning rod and thread into the end of one of those and pull it out that way. Now, it doesn't matter at this point whether you put them in this way or this way. It really doesn't matter. But I'll put one in on one side and the other in on the other side. Now one thing to note is the jag will not go all the way in. It's bottomed out against this end of the, the kit case. It's bottomed out. It will not clear the end of the case. But don't worry, the cover has enough space in it to take care of that. The last thing is the drive pin. And I put that in with the thick end in first right there along the top or 12 o'clock. Now sometimes it will catch on the top edge of this corner, the back end of this this hole for the cleaning rod. Very, very simple. Take a nail, your thumb finger or something, and push down and it will slide in there. Now, if you're having trouble pushing this in, if it's uncomfortable pushing on that really small end of the drive pin, don't worry. You've got a thimble here. Here on the case or on the lid, there are two little indents on it that create little bumps here on the inside that engage these slots on the, the body of the cover or the body of the case. Use this as a thimble 
and you can easily, let me pull that back out a little bit. You can easily push that in with that little notch in the cover. Put the cover on and you're ready to rock and roll. And it's that simple. Now I'm gonna give you one more tip. First off, if you've packed it correctly, nothing's loose. You'll notice it doesn't rattle around. It's quiet. That's what you want if you're actually using this in a tactical situation. That's also the reason there is a spring holding this against the trap door. So it doesn't rattle around and give away your position. But one more tip is how to get it back out. How to get these tools out because you'll notice they don't fall out. And sometimes you, your hands are sweaty or oily or greasy and you just can't get a hold of that jag sticking out. So just take one hand and hit it into the other and that brings your jag and your drive pin and even your brush out far enough that you can easily get a hold of them. So with that, this is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share on my videos. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.